What's up, Met fans? Welcome back. Talking Mets at Rob. How's everybody doing? Before I get started talking about the Mets 26-man roster going north to start opening day, don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, you already know what to do. Hit on that like button, everybody. If you enjoy all my content, want to see more, want to get notified when I post my videos and when I go live, everybody, hit on that subscribe button, everybody. All right, guys, so we are going to get into the Mets finalizing the 26-man roster going north with the team to start the season on April 1st. We are going to go through the lineup. We are going to go through the rotation. We are going to go through the bullpen, and we're going to go through the bench. Those are the four areas of the roster that we will be going over. We're going to look at each of those four, the players that are on this team that will be going north for opening day. So we're going to get started talking about the Mets bench that is going north on this 26-man roster. First on the bench, Luis Guillorme. Second on the bench, Jonathan Villar. Third on the bench, Kevin Pillar. Fourth on the bench, Albert Omora Jr. And last on the bench is the backup catcher, Tomas Nito. So that is your bench going north for the New York Mets in 2021 to start the season. Next, we're going to talk about the bullpen and who is going north on this Mets team on April 1st. We're going to start with the obvious one, Edwin Diaz as the closer. Next is Trevor May. After that is Juris Familia. Then it is Dylan Batanzas. Shocking, but did get notified that he will be on this in this bullpen starting the season. Robert Gerselman. We didn't think so, but it happened. Robert Gerselman is in his bullpen starting the season. Next is Miguel Castro. Next is the only lefty in this bullpen. Aaron Loop. And lastly, another surprise, we thought that was going to take Gesellman's spot, but is also added on this roster and in this bullpen is Jacob Barnes, who did pitch well in his last outing of spring training. Mm -hmm. So that is your bullpen going north for April 1st on opening day. Next is the lineup. The lineup looks as what it has been looking like in spring training with the lineup that Rojas been putting out there, but this is what it's going to look like. Batting first, Brandon Nimmo. Batting second, Francisco Lindor. Batting third, Michael Conforto. Batting fourth, Pete Alonso. Batting sixth, fifth, Dominic Smith. Batting sixth, Jeff McNeil. Batting seventh, J.D. Davis. And batting eighth for this lineup, James McCann. So this is your lineup, one through eight, that is going north with the New York Mets in 2021. Nimmo batting first, Lindor batting second, Conforto batting third, Alonzo batting fourth, Smith batting fifth, McNeil batting sixth, Davis batting seventh, and McCann batting eighth. This lineup is looking very deep and very good. That's what I like to see with a lineup like this, but that will be the lineup going forward and going north on April 1st in Washington, D.C. And last but not least is the Mets rotation going north on opening day. Our ace, the best pitcher in baseball, Jacob DeGrom, leads the staff. Right behind him is Marcus Stroman. Right behind Marcus Stroman is Taiwan Walker. The fourth in the rotation is David Peterson. And last and fifth, because of the injury of Carlos Carrasco, Joey Lucchese will be taking the fifth spot in the rotation for this Mets team that will round out the rotation for 2021 until 
Carlos Carrasco or Noah Syndergaard comes back. And that's what it's looking like right now with this rotation. Obviously, if when Carlos Carrasco and or Noah Syndergaard come back, Joey Lucchese can be that bullpen arm and the second lefty that can move into the bullpen. So that is the Mets' 26-man roster going north for opening day to start the season. We're going to go through all the players, all the 26 players going north right now. Brandon Nimmo, Francisco Lindor, Michael Conforto, Pete Alonzo, Dominic Smith, Jeff McNeil, J.D. Davis, James McCann, Jacob DeGrom, Marcus Stroman, Taiwan Walker, David Peterson, Joey Lucchese, Edwin Diaz, Trevor May, Juris Familia, Dylan Betanzas, Robert Gesellman, Miguel Castro, Aaron Loop, Jacob Barnes, Luis Guillorme, Jonathan Villar, Kevin Pilar, Albert Amora Jr., and last, Tomas Nito. That is your 26-man roster for the New York Mets for the 2021 season going north, and it's officially been finalized that this is the 26-man roster until further notice, unless something happens in the next few days to have to make changes to this roster. But this is what the roster that the front office and Luis Rojas came up with that will be going north on April 1st. I do like this roster. We got a deep bench. Our lineup is deep. The depth in this lineup, the depth of this bench just makes this offense extremely, extremely good and dangerous. The rotation, even though there's no Carlos Carrasco and Noah Syndergaard, is still pretty good when you have Jacob deGrom at the top. Everyone else is a question mark, even though I do believe that Marcus Stroman and Tyron Walker can be very good for this team, but none of the two are Noah Syndergaard and Carlos Carrasco, but we do have to rely on them because they did get pushed up in the rotation because of the injuries. They're going to be heavily relied on for this team for at least the first two and a half months of the season, and Marcus Stroman and Tyron Walker are a big key for this Mets team to start off good in the first half of the season, at least for the first two months of the season. And when it comes to David Peterson, he did pitch well last year, but David Peterson is somewhat of a guy that we, we still have question marks about because we don't know how many innings he can pitch. And even though he did pitch well, we have to see him a second time around when batters start to know what he's throwing and start to see him more. It's the second time that these, these batters are going to see him. So, David Peterson is still a question mark. And Joey Lucchese, he's been a starter for a couple of years, been in a bullpen with San Diego as well. He hasn't been great with San Diego, but he is a good pitcher. And with his funky delivery, I think he could be a surprisingly good pitcher for this team, especially as a fifth man in this rotation. He's probably not going to start probably the first week because of the off days that the that the Mets have in the first week and a half of the season. So we might see him in the second week of the season as our fifth starter, and that might be his first start. So this rotation is good, but it's not as dominant as it could be if he had Noah Syndergaard and Carlos Carrasco in this rotation as well, uh, piggybacking off of Dick, Jacob DeGrom. The weakest point of this uh, Mets team is this Mets bullpen. The Mets bullpen can be very, very good, if everything works out for this team. And that's when Diaz has a bounce back year. Familia can have a bounce back year. Batanzas, Loop, Gesellman, all these guys need to have really good years for this bullpen to be trusted by the fans, us. I don't trust anybody in this bullpen. I really do not. So the bullpen is the biggest key, I believe, to this Mets season. But... I do understand that this is what we have because Sandy Alderson did not do enough for this bullpen. He, he brought in May and he brought in Loop. 
as the big acquisitions for this bullpen. So that is your 26-man roster for the New York Mets going north for the 2021 season. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit on that like button. If you enjoy all my content, want to see more, want to get notified when I post my videos and when I go live, guys, hit on that subscribe button. I want to thank you guys for watching. And as always, let's go Mets.